What's up, and welcome back to my fireside chats. I have been kind of moving around the house trying to figure out some good places to film while we are in the middle of getting that beauty room done. But today is Foundation Friday. I'm so excited that you have joined me. We are going to be trying a foundation that you all have asked me probably almost once every day for a while since they reformulated it. So before we get started, hit the subscribe button, share this video with somebody you think might like it, and let's do it. All right, y'all, we are talking today about the new Paracone No Makeup Foundation Serum, Broad Spectrum SPF 20. And I have worn the original formula, okay? And I'm just gonna be very honest with you. I've worn the original formula. I did not love it. It was not my super jam. And when they sent this to me, I thought, wow, I'm kind of nervous about trying it because it just did not do well the first time. Um, but, I wanted to try the new formulation. So, and I know you guys have been asking me a ton about the new formulation. So, um, from what I can see in the shade ranges, I and from what I've tried on my skin, the closest thing that matches me-ish, especially, it would be better if I actually had a tan right now, to be honest, is the one called Beige, okay? And, the other ones are too light. The next one up, I believe, is called Nude, and it's a little bit too tan. But now, let's talk through this. And we're also going to be using the bronzer, the blush, and the highlighter today. So we're going to do a quick full face of all the new launches from Paracum. Okay, so I'll tell you a little bit about this is, basically this is skincare, obviously it's skincare line. This foundation is not meant to be a mask, it is meant to be buildable coverage. Um, it does have some skincare ingredients into it. It is a surface, uh, this is a neural peptide, it does have a neural peptide in it, which, which is a uniting surface cells to fight wrinkles, so it has a peptide in it, alright? And then it has a daisy flower extract, which is proven to, in their, in their words, to even out skin tone, as well as a skin brightening antioxidant. So that's exciting, and that is, sounds fantastic. This also is supposed to be a lightweight skin softening formula, visibly improves dark spots and uneven skin tone. Now, when we're looking at the ingredients, it is a 8.27 zinc oxide, which is a pretty good SPF, a percentage. And again, like I said, it is 20, so it's not super high, but for those of you that are looking for some SPF in your foundation, which you know I don't recommend being the only source. But now when we look at the actual ingredients, this I would not call a clean foundation by any means. This is very similar to a lot of the other higher end foundations that are on the market as far as PEGs, a dimethicone, uh, several different types of dimethicone, uh, as well as, uh, let's see here, as well as uh, an alcohol towards the end of the ingredient list, perfume in here, or any fragrance. I could be wrong. You can correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, so if you are sensitive to that, something to note. I also don't think that Dr. Paracone is cruelty-free, but I will put it up on the screen if I find out that I am wrong. Okay, so let's get into this. This foundation, for me, no primer needed. It's not really supposed to be like that. It does say it's a buildable, kind of semi-matte finish foundation, and I will say that that is true. Let me just take off my ring. But the best way to apply this is to use your hands, guys, okay? So I take a little dropper, and it has a very hydrating, in my opinion. It's like a hydrating matte formula. It is the most interesting formula ever. I do have a pretty hydrating skincare routine on like normal. And as always, we will go out into natural light so you can really see the effects of this foundation. All right, I'm just gonna build this up a little bit and I am gonna have to bring this down my neck because this is a little bit tanner for me. And it does dry down a little bit, you guys, just so you know. It's, it's a really beautiful finish. I'll get up real close, and I'm actually going to go put some concealer on, and then I will show you the blush and the highlighter as well. Um, you can build it up. I'll scoot you here in in a second. And I have put this underneath my eyes. I have no problem with it. It's a very easy foundation to use, for sure. Very, very easy. So this is where we're at right now so what i call this is like i said it's it's not a i mean yes it's buildable but like buildable to what in my opinion you know what i mean 
It's a buildable, lightweight coverage, but it has a very hydrating, it's a very interesting texture. Even though they say it's semi-matte, it definitely evolves with whatever skincare you have on before it. Um, this is definitely one of those foundations that you just kind of throw on with your hands. You want that easy, breezy summer coverage. This is gonna be great for that. Um, and I just don't think that it's super, super matte, but again, it's going to kind of, um, you know, go to whatever foundation or whatever skincare you have on first because mine does stay pretty luminous again even though they say it's a semi-matte so this is where we're at so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put on a little bit of uh concealer and i'll be right back all right so i switched to another window so you guys could see it in a little bit more natural light i have nothing on i just did my brows my lashes and a concealer i have no powder on at all wanted you to kind of see how this looks i think it looks really pretty on the skin i mean it's really going to be one of those easy foundations honestly all right so let's dig into this i have not tried the bronzer yet i do like that this bronzer is matte i already know that it is i don't use the i don't think i'm going to use the dropper it comes with a little doe foot um see how this goes and i do know that i think you're supposed to use your hands for most of this application since it is a skincare brand look how that is pretty now that is gorgeous all right the one thing i will tell you though is to use the less amount as possible the least amount as possible because it does spread very generously so just you know gentle with it and then when you blend blend up yeah because it does blend pretty far but it's very very pretty that is a beautiful bronzer there we go i love how skin like it is and how matte I do like the coloration of it because it's nice and warm, but also um, a little bit has a yellow or olive undertone to it. So that's nice and flattering. Now, they only sent me one blush color, which is totally fine. No big deal. Um, I'll try to find the exact color and I'll link it below. But this actually has vitamin C ester in it as well as Chinese ginger plant extract. So that's nice. So it has vitamin C in it. That's beautiful. So does the bronzer. That's cool because vitamin C for me right here would be nice for brightening um, up my pigmentation. I am going to use the little stick as well. This looks like a beautiful color. I have not used these, by the way. I just used the foundation. I have not used these yet. Okay, that's beautiful. That's a really nice cream blush that has anti-aging benefits to it look how pretty that is wow that's gorgeous i will definitely be reusing these again this is um very generous though in pigmentation like i said for the bronzer so be wary of using too much when you first get this that's beautiful though this also has vitamin c ester in it as well okay here we go might have used too much Oh, that's pretty. You guys, that's really pretty. A little bit on the brow bone, why not? That's gorgeous. I usually put highlighter on before blush because I find that it blends in with the skin a little bit better, but I wanted you guys to see the actual ultimate payoff of this. Hands are perfect with this, these products. This is beautiful. This would be great mixed into a foundation or mixed into a... Uh, moisturizer Ooh. okay this I will be absolutely using again these two are stunning together Wow um, I will probably pop on just a little bit of like a regular gloss I'll be back in a little bit but um, the my, one thing I will notice is that it does the foundation doesn't sit amazing on the nose so I had to put uh, concealer over the nose now for me for the most part that is pretty pretty run-of-the-mill for most foundations like this so I'm not gonna knock it just for that but this looks stunning okay so so far so good I will tell you right off the bat too that this foundation is not a long wearing foundation this is definitely something that you can wear to the beach or out running errands or if you just want an effortless easy look but this is not gonna be one that you're gonna be like you know running to the gym and then you have to go to work or like whatever it's it does 
it does stay for a couple of hours and we'll do a little bit of a wear test, but this is not claiming to be a long wearing foundation. It is just something that's like skincare and it is skin like on the skin. So I will see you all in a few hours. All right, party people. It has been, I just wanted to show you, it's been an hour and a half later and it still looks really pretty. Um, I've really been quite doing a lot today, unpacking still and, and doing a bunch of stuff. Uh, and so I just, I keep catching the skin in the mirror and I love that you can see my freckles through this. I am obsessed with the bronzer, the cheek and the highlighter. Uh, I This is actually better than I thought I would like it. Now, I, again, like I told you, I've only worn it a couple of times, but I kind of just slapped it on just to make sure I didn't need a primer with it or anything like that. And remember, I don't have a powder on it at all. I haven't even set my under eyes. So for me, so far, this is a huge winner for me. I, I'm really thoroughly enjoying the way that the skin looks and all of that good stuff. So I'll see you all in a little bit. All right, loves, we are a total of four hours of wear, and I think it still looks really what good, really well, really good. Um, I've been actually like touching this part of my face a little bit more today, and it has come off. Um, again, this is not a super long wearing foundation. This is meant for running around, kind of easy breezy, um, but gosh, it just makes the skin look so good. So I don't necessarily mind it too much, but I just wanted to give you a little check-in. I'm probably going to wear it for a few more hours to see what it looks like, um, but just wanted to show you. And like when it wears off, it just is kind of nice. It just shows like your little freckles and stuff like that. So it doesn't necessarily bother me, but just an FYI on the wearability of this foundation. All right, see y'all soon. Bye. All right, we are back. It is a total of six hours of wear, and I will tell you that this foundation is pretty much broken down. You can see all over here. If you if you touch your face at all, it kind of comes off. So my overall thought process is that would this would be good for most skin types, but it is definitely a foundation for just running around and you don't care if it wears off, it's totally fine. Um, I, even trying to fix it up with some concealer in the very beginning, now the concealer is kind of coming off and looking weird. There's quite a bit of redness that you can't see right now, but you can see in like real life. And so that's all kind of coming through. Now, to my in my opinion, bronzer, blush, highlighter, stellar. Um, I would invest in seeing if you want to get a sample of this foundation, but Unless you're a Paracone girl and you want to keep with the brand and all that stuff, I, I do think that there are still better ones that are better ingredients. But you know what? It might be worth a try for you. I am looking forward to wearing it again, but I'll wear it to like the beach or something like that. That's where I'll wear this. Beach. Um, if I ever wore makeup to the gym, which I don't, but if I did, like if I had to go somewhere after, this might be an okay one. Might come off with sweat though. Um, so yeah, it's an overall, it's a good foundation and it is definitely that light coverage. And, but I'm most excited about the bronzer, the blush and the highlighter. I cannot wait to layer them again onto another foundation. So thank you guys so much for being here. Please comment in the comment below if you guys have tried this foundation, uh, what you think, if it works for you, all of that good stuff. And I'll see you on the next one. Lots of love from me to you. Bye loves.